We need to find a vacant cemetery. A vacant port, you know. Ah! Yeah, so it's confirmed now. It's, it's now been in the news. Right? Taliban and LJ is in the Taliban. So we put, we put it together with the mother. There's a big hand to get so that they will be together. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're following our videos, we sent LJ, we sent LJ for the checkup and it's advice that he needs to be a doctor. You know, so I insisted, the I insisted to be at, uh, I insisted to be admitted. You know, because doctor, when we went to doctor C, doctor said it's up to you, but I advise it's for admission. So LJ has been in telephone for I think two weeks. And then advised to transfer to Tagbilaran. So I said to the father, okay, for operations, operations. And then now the father just, I, it's brown out in the morning. You know, it's brown out in the morning uh, in our place. So I don't receive any messages or phone. So now, when we came out here in the road, down the road, I just been received the message. And then also the from fake Facebook. You know, and then now the father is called that it's confirmed. <laughs> Like I am, I can hardly breath. <laughs> yeah, so love is there. Daddy clicks there. So we need to pay 18,000 which we were scrambling to get together and now uh, she's in bad pain. I guess uh, they sent the van up to check the line okay. and they'll get okay. LJ uh, and we won't be able to see LJ's body uh, which is difficult because it means that there's no more well, difficult to get closure and for lovely in the back don't forget just in case you don't know LJ is lovely's older sister so I think that makes Lovely, the old, the older sister now. So, um, a sad day. LJ passed apparently at nine o'clock this morning. Okay. Not here, lovely. Very tough reaction. Ask them uh, to be partial payment and pay on Monday. Look at that. And they wouldn't do that, so they needed the whole amount up front, which is not a huge amount of money really. But uh, yeah, always at those times when it's immediately available.
won't be able to see LG, which makes it difficult for anyone, including Beth and I, to expose you. LJ was the, the restless child. She, she is beautiful, sweet child. And she tried to, she tried when, when Lovely came to stay with us, she tried, she tried to stay with Nanai. Nanai can be a tough, uh, can be a tough one. They don't call a machine gun Nanai for nothing. <laughs> so she decided that after a little while that she would go back to her family. And at the time, the reason that she gave was that she felt that she was missing her siblings. So, uh, what could we do? We had to agree. So she went back and stayed. She stayed with her family for a little while. She has two close friends there, Loella and Jeanette. Uh, they are the three, quite three sisters, even though they're not. And and she's she stayed and was able to spend time with them. But then uh, she came and she tried staying with Jessica. And James, and that didn't work out for her either. She was a child who needed to be able to, as Beth would always say, roam around. So, children here have an extraordinary level of freedom. Uh, some would say not enough supervision and of course as a foreigner I'd have to agree to that. Um, as a far you know foreigners are used to having the babies in uh, mother mother father or parent child relationship. Uh, I know that I would never dare to disobey my mother or my father. Um, Certainly not if they were there and actually told me to do something, but it's not really isn't the same. It's not the same here. Uh, and as I say, children uh, enjoy a great deal of independence, which is, as always, nothing is ever all positive, and it's not all negative either. It's the balance that's necessary, and that's what's difficult to get. Now this one at the back look. <laughs> I went out yesterday, and, excuse me, I went out and I uh, bought some cushions for uh, day bed, and I bought this neck cushion support. Or Beth, I'm sorry, for Lovely. And I think here's Beth now. <laughs> What's happening, honey? Here in cemetery, so it's around 5:31. Check out uh, 5:32, and we're waiting for the Porlon funeral car from Tagbilaran. So we hope they are on the way now, maybe halfway, so that we can have the uh, we can have the burial before night, before it's really dark. It's the father is not around. You know, because the father is in the hospital, and then automatically they will bring it for co home quarantine. So it's just us that will do it. 
Nya, yeah, uh, that that told me that uh, gabi ito nagdamo ko si Lorraine that no. Mm. Lorraine, ayo no, don't because I'm charged my phone. Don't off. Uh, that that said that Lorraine is dreaming about LJ, you know, some some something like that. And I share about them that I also dreamed that he said bye bye. She said bye bye, bye bye. So when I dreamed that, I said, oh, it's a sign, you know. But I don't want to be. You know, 